Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to our Smart Index YouTube channel. I'm Hari Vardhan. In this video, we're going to discuss fight bots problem from Code Chef 148 starters contest. So let's get started. Here, the problem statement is uh, it is saying that Alice and Bob are competing in finals of fight bots tournament. Okay. And the match takes place on the 2D plane. And Alice, Alice robot starts at cell 0 comma 0 and bob start starts at x comma y cell okay and it is also saying that it is guaranteed that x and y never be equal to 0 comma 0 and match lasts for n seconds every second both robots must move exactly one unit up down left or right okay and two robots have may move in different directions okay Allies has a string S of length N containing only characters L, R, U, D, which represents left, right, up, and down, and has decided that she will move according to it. Okay. That is if. Okay. That is if S, I, S, I equals to R, Allies will move her robot one unit towards right in the ith second. Okay. And this is a short explanation of what left, right, up, and down are. And here it is saying that if both robots are at same location after some moves have been made, Bob wins. If Bob wins, if less than n seconds have passed, Bob and Alice meets. If after n seconds has passed, if after n seconds has passed without Alice and Bob meeting, so Alice will win. Otherwise, Bob will win. If they never meet in this n seconds, me, so allies will in that case, or else if at any point of time in these n seconds, if they meet at any cell, Bob is gonna win. So the question is saying that does Bob have a sequence of moves that will allow him to win? Okay. So in the question. It is saying that it has given us the size of the 2D plane with uh, two coordinates x and y, which represents the Bob starting coordinates and 0, 0 are ally starting coordinates. This is ally starting position, this is Bob starting position. And then these are the sequence of moves which are taken by allies, right? And we need to find a sequence for Bob such that Bob will win the game, right? So when Bob will win the game, when Alice and Bob will meet at any point of time at any cell, that means Bob will win. So we'll try to make Bob win the game. Okay. So it is given that phi cross phi grid. Let's take a phi cross phi grid. Let me move here. Okay. So let's try performing these moves. So allies will start from 0, 0. So in the first second, in the first second, he's taking, he's moving to right side by one unit. So this is what Allah is going to do for first second. In the next second, he'll again move to right side, then down, then left, and then last move is up. So this right is made in the first second, and again right choice is made in the second second as well, and D in third, and so on. Okay. And allies is starting from here X and Y are 2 comma 4. So let me represent this 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. So Bob is starting from 2, 4 cell, second row and fourth column. So this one. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, let me write the sequence here for allies. This is the allies sequence that is given in the question, which is 
राइट 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 डाउन लेफ्ट एंड अप सो फॉर द फर्स्ट सेकेंड इल मूव टू दी राइट बाय वन यूनिट सो अल आई सी इज करेंटली हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट सेकेंड लेट मी टेक रेड सो बॉब इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम टू कॉम फोर सेल राइट सो इज इट पॉसिबल टू रीच बॉब टू दिस सेल बाय टेकिंग द सेम मूव विच इज लेफ्ट राइट अप एंड डाउन इन वन सेकेंड इज इट पॉसिबल टू रीच बॉब टू वन कॉम टू सेल इन वन सेकेंड नो राइट ही नीड टू टेक एट लीस्ट थ्री मूव something like this or this he need to take at least three moves so not possible so we'll continue bob is here for the first second and then he'll move the second move is again right side so currently alice is here at 1.3 cell so bob is starting from here so for bob is it possible to come here in 2 seconds yes right so this is for first second this is for second second <laughs> okay so there is a possibility that bob can reach in 2 seconds this cell that means there is a possibility alice and bob can meet right so this is one way and other way could be this left hand up is one way and up and left is another way so that is the reason the output is yes that bob can win okay i hope you got the complete clarity of the question let's dive deep into it so let's suppose uh okay let's suppose instead of alice being here let me put uh okay let me instead of this i am following some other sequence for alice let's say alice is over here uh how many seconds he'll reach here he'll take 4 seconds right this is the first second 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 this is for third second and fourth second let's suppose uh bob is somewhere here so is it possible to bob to reach this cell is it possible for bob to reach 3 comma 3 cell in how many seconds 4 seconds it is possible right he can come in 2 seconds itself but he should come in 4 seconds he should as alice made four moves bob should also make four moves exactly but these moves need not to be same right we can reach in 2 seconds but you should take four moves to reach it is it possible to make four moves to reach here 3 comma 3 we can right uh, let's try to see this is one move second move third move and fourth move this is one way and there might be multiple ways so what can you observe even we can reach that cell in minimum distance we still need to take exact number of moves which alice made if alice made i number of moves we should also make i number of moves itself right when we can do that when we can make this happen okay let's try to see uh, instead of bob being here let me change his position to here so bob is bob starting position is 3 comma 4 and alice made four moves and reached 3 comma 3 cell so is it possible for bob to move to 3 comma 4 cell sorry 3 comma 3 cell yes it is possible in one move he can reach this cell but how many moves should we need to take as alice made four moves bob should also make four moves to reach this cell right so is it possible to make four moves to reach this cell let's see this is 
can be one move one move and this one move and if you try to maximize again it will increase right so what can you observe by this what are the things you need to take care first thing is first we need to check whether we can reach that cell or not is it possible to reach that cell let's name it as uh, ax comma ay what is the other thing that we need to check even if it is possible to reach we have just seen right here the distance is just one but as it was four moves bob should also make four moves so what can you say by this the second thing is the parity should also match I hope this is visible. Yeah. So these are the two things that we need to take care. So how will how will check is it possible to reach that cell a x comma a y or not in some i seconds? Say in i seconds. How will you get to know that whether Bob can reach this allies coordinate or not? How will find the distance? Uh, let's say allies is starting from x comma y. How will get the distance between two coordinates? We can use Manhattan distance, right? That is, uh, we need to take absolute value of a x minus x plus a y minus y. So this will give you the distance to reach the shortest. We can say shortest distance to reach from a x to sorry uh, ax comma a y to x comma y so we can simply check whether this is this distance is less than or equal to i or not uh, i is i at the second if you can reach that distance in i seconds that means it is possible to reach that cell by bob this is how we check for the first case what about second one we just need to match the parity of what and what this number of seconds uh, number of seconds and the distance uh, let's say this is distance so this i and the parity of i and distance should be same then only we can somehow uh, make the left right up and using these moves we can somehow reach that point even if they are closer we have just seen it right if he is here and bob is here we can make something like this to reach this position right so we just need to take care of these things that's it we are done okay i hope this is making sense okay so let's jump into implementation so let's start with scanner class System dot in read the number of test cases then se dot next int iterate on each test case then for each test case you will be given n the coordinates of Bob the starting coordinates of Bob let's say x then we are given a string which is which is representing align sequence sequence of moves which is a string let's name it as s se dot next we'll iterate on the string s dot length 
the character which is at i if this character if it is matching with l uh, decrement x else if it is matching with r increment x else if, if it is matching with d then decrement a y else increment a y after moving after going to that cell we'll calculate the distance using manhattan distance which is uh, absolute value of ax minus x plus a y minus y to check the first condition check if it is reachable or not by if this distance should be less than the seconds which is i here i is zero base right but seconds are one base so let's change it to i plus one this is this handles the first case second case is the parity should match parity of distance and the second should match such that we can find a way to reach that cell okay we forgot initializing this a x equals to zero and a y equals to zero to know whether i have printed or not i'll keep track of a boolean flag let's say false here when we found a sequence let's make it as true and break from here and based on the flag will if it is true that means we have found a sequence so print yes else print no let's run it it is working as expected let's submit yeah so it worked and yeah so the code chef test case are weak so if you even remove this uh, it will work but here you need to put it as equals yeah even if you submit now it will work that's it for this video uh, if you want to learn problem solving in detail, you can join our three month smart coder course and master data structures and algorithms. We hope you liked it. To enjoy more such content, like and subscribe to our channel. And bye, guys.